Hey guys, welcome back to episode two of our 1951 custom double cab Chevy truck. Uh, I'm Jerry and I'm here to kind of explain to you guys how we got to the point of uh, having a four door 51 Chevy truck. Uh, so what we did was we ordered up two brand new Dynacorn reproduction cabs and started off by taking the back or the rear structure off of our front cab including the floor and parts of the B pillar and secondly took our uh, front part of the rear portion of the cab including the firewall tow panels and some of the structure of the the floor flipped it around and started sewing them together uh, one reason we did that was on this build we wanted to have suicide doors in the back we're flipping around that second cab and attaching it this way we automatically had rear suicide doors. Once we get all the structure and things out, you kind of start building from the bottom up. You get the floor structure, all the bracing and everything lined up to the chassis. Um, and it's almost as simple as measuring, cutting, and making it fit together. We went ahead and added some structure, extra structure in the cab for uh, impact collision resistance. And, um, kind of just started building. This one was a little tricky. Once we got the cabs together, obviously you gotta have a roof. And since this from about here back is completely custom, the entire roof is uh, not factory. So we had to build that by hand, rolling over several different pieces of metal and stitching everything together to get a nice uniform four-door 1951 double cab. 